We are deep into our start today 30 day walking challenge. So yesterday we upped the ante with some strengthening exercises. This morning we've got our pal Savannah's go to expert, Chris Dorner, the certified trainer behind the popular Chris Dorner YouTube channel. Uh, she has some cross training moves that we're, we're showing right add. now. We're showing Savannah. That's right. And she was in Tokyo. <laughs> when Savannah was uh, quarantined in Tokyo when we were there for the Olympics, she was using Chris's stuff. Chris, good to see you. Oh, nice. So great to be here. Well, this is so amazing. So, so upper body, we don't think about that a lot when it comes to walking. Right. Why do we need to do that? Because we, first of all, we want to have balances mm -hmm. in what we're doing. So if you're doing the same movements over and over while you're walking, right. and you're not working your upper body, mm -hmm. then you're going to have like a bit of an imbalance. So working upper body and core is so right. important because walking is a lot of lower body. All right, so let's get yeah. started. Uh, you've got a couple of weights here. What are we going to do? Okay, so we're going to pick up weights. Mm -hmm. are, are 10 pounds good for you? Either? Yeah, sure. All right. Yeah. Right. Oh, 40 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Not so so for anybody getting started, what are okay. you going to do? This is going to be a bent over row, which is okay. fantastic for your posture. Okay. Okay. So what you're going to do is push your hips back, bend over from the hips. That's I'm, sure very, I'm sorry okay. back there. So <laughs> push the butt back and then okay. you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades back in together. Uh -huh. And I always say, get out of your neck, right? Okay. So you go down and then you squeeze your shoulder blades back in together. Mm -hmm. Good. And down. So you're working your upper back muscles, right. which a lot of times because we're standing and rounding forward when we wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. brush our teeth, get over that spin bike, whatever you're doing, yeah. driving in the car. You want to strengthen the upper back. If you use lighter posture. weights, could you take these out on the walk? With absolutely, you? absolutely. So some people work out, um, take their walk, right? Mm -hmm. They take their walk with like two, three pound dumbbells right. in their hand, or even with wrist yeah, weights. Yeah, I okay. was going to say, I walk yeah. with wristbands on. Yeah. And Let's head over to okay. Jill, so, yeah. who's, who's appropriately dressed as a picnic. I knew it. <laughs> and you following me a picnic in the park. <laughs> so I'm on the park bench. I dressed appropriately. So on the walk, we're going, and then you get to the bench, and yeah. You can get to a park bench. You get your oh, you I see a dip coming. Hands on, okay. Butt off again. I'm Here, bend, the, bend the elbows and then press the bench away from you. So you're pressing down into the bench. Now a modification would just be to hold this position until you get stronger, or maybe just go a little bit and then press back up. You want to keep it out of your neck so you're not doing this, right? Always out of the neck. How many sets of these would you suggest doing? Well, if you're doing it in your walk, are you getting tired? <laughs> Feels good. If you're doing it in your walk, you can do every park bench, do like five to ten. Okay, Or cool. like three or four park benches. That's good. That's a yeah, little, all right. Yeah. On now, the Craig, so I can stop. Right. So, Chris, if you don't have weights, you don't have a park bench, and you're still out walking, what's something else that so, folks could do? What's really fun would be, so you're walking in a neighborhood or something, yeah, right? So you're along. walking, and you come to a stop sign. Okay. okay? Say me and you are walking. Right. Before we go on the walk, we're like, oh, you know what? You're going to pick 10 moves to do, or one move to do yep. 10 times at a stop sign. Yep. I'll pick the next. So you get to a stop sign, you stop, look at your friend, okay, 10 squats. Oh, you do 10 okay. squats, okay. right? Right? And every, so every stop sign you see, you drop and do 10. Yeah, why not? All right. I like that. <laughs> and what's, what's your right. move? My, my move? Yeah, what's, besides the squat. Okay, what so I'm... you could do standing, calf raises. Oh, that's oh. a good one. the lower body again. Uh, that's a good one. If you like, you can get on the floor and do a push-up. Oh. I'm looking forward to everyone seeing Al Roker doing yeah. this at every stop sign. Yeah. As, as <laughs> well, that's why I run in the park. Stop sign, you're dropping to give like 10? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's oh, do it. Let's do it. Ready, go. All right, All right. yeah. Do a push-up competition. <laughs> Chris, thank you so much. Not and it's not there. too late to join us. Scan the QR code to learn more about the plan and to join our Start Today Facebook group or head to today.com slash help. Woo, I just want you to notice thank I'm you. still doing it. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.